हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर सागर जावले आई एम ए स्टेम सेल थेरेपी एक्सपर्ट एंड आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग स्टेम सेल थेरेपी इन माय सेंटर इन जलगांव महाराष्ट्र फ्रॉम लास्ट सेवन इयर्स आई हैव टेकन डिग्रीज फ्रॉम रेप्यूटेड मेडिकल कॉलेजेस गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेजेस लाइक के एम हॉस्पिटल मुंबई एंड सायन हॉस्पिटल मुंबई and uh, last 23 years i have been practicing in uh, jalgaon but last 7 years i have turned to stem cell therapy and we have been treating and doing research on a lot of diseases and is uh, stem cell therapy on those diseases from last 7 years almost in this video we will talk about stem cell therapy for type 1 diabetes please press the bell icon below and subscribe this channel and press the like button so that next time whenever a new video comes it will reach you automatically now what is type 1 diabetes we know that it's a diabetes of children and uh, in that uh, beta cells which are insulin producing cells of the islets of langer hands are damaged due to autoimmunity or due to viral infection and that's why the child needs insulin from outside and the treatment is insulin shots and there is nothing else now it is very painful to see the child taking these injections and that to for the rest of the life and the insulin taken from outside does not work forever very soon it starts developing this resistance it starts getting ineffective and the dose of the insulin has to be increased hence uh, insulin is also not the permanent solution for any of these problems otherwise there was no reason for research if insulin therapy was ideal so first of all the uh, first of all the cost and the then the increasing dose and the dependency and uh, after some time the insulin gets useless totally and despite taking insulin the complications of the disease progress such as the blindness the kidney failure the neuropathy and all sorts of trouble that happens in diabetes continues despite taking uh, insulin and that is why there is a necessary to do any research in this area so that we find out something better and something new so in this type 1 diabetes and its tre- treatment with stem cell therapy what we did is uh, we classified this patient below 7 and 8 years and above 7 and 8 years below 7 and 8 years what we do is we take out the bone marrow of the patient from the uh, posterior inferior iliac spine purify that and separate the stem cells or we take out fat and purify that and separate the stem cells then we take a small incision in the patient's umbilicus take out the membrane inside the abdomen call omentum make it into a pouch call omental pouch and then put the stem cells into this pouch and then close the abdomen now i did the world's first operation of this kind 7 years ago and uh, we have done more than 30 cases and the publication is also accepted in the international journal that you can see down in the description box you can read that publication it's a Switzerland based journal which is indexed in Scopus and PubMed so it has lot of value the whole research was done in India and for the first time in the world now why omental pouch because these cells when implanted into the blood uh, they are destroyed by the immune system very fast so when you put in the omentum the immunity there is far little and that's why the destruction is far less than the blood that is one option second second reason is that the cells get 
uh, implanted very fast because omentum has a very high va vascular surface which is suitable for implantation. That's why the cells are taken up very fast and they get vascularized. So they survive also. So we want the cells to survive and we want the immune system not to eat the cells. And that's why this particular trick has been done and it is successful. And after that, some seven patients have been off insulin since then. And other patients, the insulin requirement is drastically reduced. So the whole process takes about uh, five days stay in Jalgaon, Maharashtra. Uh, first day when you come, your investigations and fitness is done. Second day the procedure is done and two to three days is the observation and your discharge. Luckily no side effects were noted apart from very minor side effects maybe such as fever or skin rash maybe. Otherwise no major side effects were uh, noted in this particular uh, treatment which is very good then the results start coming in about three three months till that time your insulin continues and then the insulin is gradually reduced and at dose is adjusted every three monthly you have to do investigations and uh, send me that report by whatsapp or whatever means you don't have to come back physically that is the good part of this particular therapy and the results keep coming till one year sometimes up to two years and what we have seen is that these children are much better than before their insulin dose is reduced or sometimes it is gone for a few years uh, and uh, their energy is very high the complications get reversed in many cases like in three patients we saw the vision got improved in three four cases we saw the neuropathy uh, got reversed energy is very good insulin dose is reduced another important thing we saw is that uh, uh, patients who did not undergo stem cell therapy there was a death rate what we call mortality rate in that group if you follow 30 to 40 patients for three years uh, then uh, what happens is that uh, some of the patients, about 10% of the patients die also. So just taking insulin is not enough. But in this uh, therapy where we, we have followed up more than 5 years, not a single per a child has died. So that is important. Your life is important. So it, just insulin does not mean uh, you will survive. The stem cell therapy does a lot good and uh, no patient died in this group so that is very very important then uh, there are other benefits were found like other diseases associated with that also got uh, uh, i won't say cured or but rather benefited so because the stem cells travel to other areas of the body also Apart from momentum pouch, whatever remaining stem cells, we give, give it into the blood intravenously through this vein so that the rest of the body also gets rejuvenated. So this is the first variant. The cost also we have reduced very much compared to other centers. Our cost is almost one third. The exact cost you can only let know by contacting me my details are in the description box below now the second modality of treatment which is generally preferred for children above seven and eight years is that the intrapancreatic stem cell therapy in other centers they are putting stem cells only in the blood so only two percent cells make it to the pancreas uh, where the insulin production is to be done now due to this the very little repair occurs and very little results are achieved and that's why we have invented this intrapancreatic stem cell therapy. Again seven years ago I did the world's first intrapancreatic stem cell therapy for type 1 diabetes and some three years ago a publication containing 26 patients of intrapancreatic therapy was published by me in the, in the Swedish journal which is indexed in PubMed and Scopus. 
and that is also the world's first series of its kind the whole whole research done in india so in this uh, again the stage five days you come to the hospital first day your investigation and fitness is done second day the procedure begins in the morning your bone marrow is uh, you are given spinal anesthesia so small needle in your back not the full anesthesia then from your iliac bone bone marrow is removed then it is processed and purified and stem cells are removed from the bone marrow then the next step is we go to the cath lab where angioplasty is performed there there is a machine under which through your femoral uh, so there is a artery in your lap called femoral artery through that a catheter is put a tube is put and your pancreatic artery is cannulated and the stem cells are injected into the pancreatic artery this is a very novel treatment which nobody in the world is doing currently ours is the only center in the entire world where this kind of a treatment is offered so all the cells are flushed into the pancreas there is no wastage of cells into the other organs because what happens when you put the cells in the blood in the first circulation itself about 75% of the cells are engulfed by the lung due to particular vasculature of the lung now this is very wasteful that the lungs we, we are not treating a lung disease we are treating a diabetes and uh, unnecessary the lung gets so many cells so only remaining 25% cells are left and out of that also hardly 5% cells reach the pancreas so out of the total if you say it's barely 2% cells reach the pancreas by doing intrapancreatic stem cell therapy we are injecting all the cells directly into the pancreas and that's why the results are quite good again the results take 3 months to appear and uh, full results are obtained at the end of 1 year or even 2 years and what are the results that most of the patient gain weight uh, so this is a very positive sign gaining weight in type 1 diabetes is a great achievement because they are losing weight and you can understand that after some time then the person will not survive because you cannot keep losing weight forever so the process is reversed and they go into anabolism and the uh, weight gain is achieved about 10% of the weight is increased almost in all the patients so this is a great achievement second is their energy is increased very well so the major complaint in diabetes in general is that uh, you are energy less so the energy comes back your energy goes up th- through the roof that's what some many patient tell us then the insulin dose is reduced if you are taking tablets the dose is reduced insulin may stop also in some patients and other patient the insulin dose is reduced the complications are reversed in some patients such as the vision loss the kidney function improves and the neuropathy was reversed in some patients and many other unrelated problems such as pain here and pain there and such things patients have that is also gone because some cells leak into the general blood circulation and they repair the remaining tissues also and surprisingly again as i said no side effects were noted even this in, in this modality of the treatment only minor side effects such as fevers skin rash or at the local site there can be some discoloration or small hematoma that can occur no major or fever can come but no major side effects were noted absolutely in this particular therapy so that is the beauty of this uh, therapy and the effect lasts usually for 3 to 5 years after uh, after one year you can repeat the therapy and then uh, for 3 to 5 years you may not repeat the therapy after 5 years you may need a repeat again because the cells gradually get damaged also and there is nothing permanent in human life so this is the intrapancreatic stem cell therapy for type 1 diabetes and the omental pouch therapy for type 1 diabetes both we have discussed 
in detail in this particular video so this our center uh, javle stem cell therapy center is located in uh, jalgaon maharashtra which is very well connected with railway particularly and even by airlines but for uh, international uh, routes you can take the common uh, you can take a path of the aurangabad airport which is around 150 kilometers from here and then come to jalgaon with a help of a taxi uh, so the center the city is also very well connected and we are getting patients from not only from india but from all across the world the patients are coming since i told you that this is the only center in the entire world where such a therapy is offered and at such a low cost it is offered the cost i am not disclosing because it will rise with inflation so other compared to other centers our cost is almost one third in the description box below you can find the address of my center my website my email address my mobile phone number my whatsapp number my facebook number and uh, uh, so you can contact me through that also you can find both my publications on uh, type 1 diabetes the omental pouch and the intrapancreatic and so you can come to my center and uh, get the stem cell therapy done for type 1 diabetes thank you very much